Well, have you always envied a home where the basement is finished and is used as more than a room for storage? Well, Mike Washington is back from Ivy Lee Construction, and he can actually make that happen for you. Good morning. Nice Good to morning. have you back. Thanks for having us. And, you know, when you think of basements, a lot of people say, oh, the basement, I just use it for storage. But my goodness, if you think about the square footage you're missing in living space. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, well, you could really add a lot of square footage of usable space in your basement, even if you don't refinish the whole basement. Right. Half the basement, quarter of a basement, even if you're adding a playroom, or sometimes we just go in and add bathrooms to the basement, you know? Exactly. So I brought a lot of pictures today to go through. What we really want to talk with mm -hmm. all of our clients right away is make sure that your basement is dry before we finish it. Absolutely. Yeah, so we really want to go through, uh, make sure we have new sump pumps in, uh, this is a water jet pump, which basically uh, it runs by water. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a secondary pump for your basement in case the, uh, the main ba uh, sump pump fails. Yes. Uh, it will actually run on water, so that's a really important tool we're always mm -hmm. putting into our basement projects. Uh, and then we'll also go around and make sure that the perimeter drain tile is proper and cleaned. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, if it needs to be replaced in this place, we actually had to put new drain tile in before we finish the basement. Now, when somebody wants to finish their basement, that's going to require a permit. Yes. But in this case, you take care of all that. Yeah, we take care right. of all the permitting. Um, there is a, a, a lot of different codes and regulations for health and safety for a basement remodel. Ah. So you just got to make sure you go through and doing it properly uh, and, and you are having all the sump pumps done, okay. all the backups done, all the electrics done properly. This is more plumbing, just tying into a basement um, that we really wanted to show. And then this is a finished basement that we've done Ooh, recently. I love it. So you really can finish a basement mm -hmm. off, you know, with drywall on the ceilings. Sometimes we do open ceilings now, drywall on the walls, carpeting in this. Um, there's a lot of different options today Recess to go through Recess lighting, and so you don't yep. have anything hanging. And you know what? You're building in, building in here a lot of shelves, so you still have storage. There is a lot of storage and different ideas of storage you can do in a basement. Mm -hmm. This love is this. something else that I wanted to talk about, an egress window well. Mm -hmm. So if you're putting a... Uh, a bedroom down into a basement, you got to have a secondary point of entrance and exit. Mm -hmm. So God forbid there was a fire in your home, there's another way for people to get out. Right. Um, uh, the code has changed recently and sometimes you do need that, sometimes you don't. It really depends on uh, the use, how you're using the basement. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really a good idea to have us come over, take a look, see what we'd recommend for your home. I just love that. You're getting so much more natural light. It lets it a just, ton of light in. Safety issue yeah. is so important. And then another bathroom or basement remodel that we've done. This was actually a workout room down in this basement. If you notice, this ceiling is a kind mm. of industrial look. It's yeah. just painted. There's no finished ceiling there. Recessed lighting went up in there. This is a hard rubber floor here for the workout room. Really a nice look. Yeah, and that functional, is great. And really functional. This is another nice basement that we did mm -hmm. um, coming down. And the post and the center beam going down a basement, there's going to be posts that we're going to have to wrap. And there's all sorts of different details we can do there. Um, making sure that we have the HVAC in for the heating, the cooling, uh, and then obviously the recessed lighting going through. In this application, we had drywall ceiling uh, and carpeting going down for the floor. Yeah, and you know, it just looks so much like it would be perfect for a kid's playroom. It's perfect Let for that. Let them come on downstairs, yeah. have fun, put a TV down there, yep. and um, then the upstairs, your living room, your dining room, everything else stays the Clean. way you like. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> How you would right. like it to be. Yep. Yeah. Oh, this great. is the other end of that same uh, oh, workout really? room we looked at. So they had a couple TVs they put in. So they put a big area in for gaming here for their kids. Mm -hmm. A big playroom on the other side. If you notice, again, an unfinished ceiling. A lot of times we're painting those gray or black. Yep. Uh, and then we'll trim it off so it, it has like a little crown molding detail that's going around the perimeter to separate the finish from the unfinished ceiling. It's a real nice look. It's economical, um, but it still looks like living space. It doesn't right. look just like storage. Right. And you know, sometimes yeah. you just love your house, but you say, you know, we've grown out of it, there's not enough room, then you realize we haven't done anything with the basement. For sure. Right? And you're not having to put the foundation in and the added, added expenses of running new heating and right. cooling because that's already already there. Nice. Yeah. Nice. It's yeah. so cozy. Yep. This is another view of that same yep. basement coming down. It's real nice looks. Got room for the kids yeah. in the back. This I wanted to bring and show oh, the different yeah. types of doors we could in. So these are our, our barn doors that they roll on a track, real nice black hardware on them. Uh, and then we also put in regular doors and basements. A lot of storage, again, shelves, a lot of detail through. Um, in this one, we actually used a, a VCT product on the floor. It's a vinyl product. Oh. Um, it looks like hardwood, but it's not real hardwood. Um, again, you can be economical down in those play areas and storage areas without breaking the bank, but it really looks nice. You come down, it, it looks like a nice finish. And remember, on Mike's website, there's ways that you can save money. There's ways that you can go ahead and get 0% financing and uh, get really more wonderful pictures of ideas of things that Ivy League Construction can do for you. So by all means, 
Maybe you want to go there for the holidays. IvyLeeConstruction.com and look at a brand new room into the new year. Why not? They're in North Tonawanda, but they work all over Western New York. Ivy Lee Construction.